right, what's up guys? Um, we're on the way to the gym right now. Um, we're both gonna be training some upper body. We're not going to slack on Crystal's footage today. We're definitely gonna get some, some stuff that Crystal does. What are you gonna do? Bench. I know the last video he said we said I was gonna do bench, but I never did bench. What are you gonna bench? Mid 120s for some reps. Volume. I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do like a like primarily dumbbell upper body workout today. So I want to try to get in incline press, shoulder press, dumbbell row, and I'll probably do pull ups and like some arms. Nice little bodybuilding day, pump day. tracks.
few tracks. you tracks. All right, guys, we're out here. Check it out, Seminole Strength, Tallahassee, Florida. It's like 185 degrees out here, 75 million percent humidity. Um, we're almost done with our workout. We both did a push. I did incline dumbbell. She did flat barbell bench. We did a lat pull down variation hammer strength thing. And now we're doing curls. So we're skipping rows, we're skipping shoulders. This is like a one push, one pull, and then like bicep day. It's like a bro, bro tool, ba tool bag day, douchebag day. That's what we're gonna call it, <laughs> douchebag day. But it's still, it's still a good day to have a good day. We're out here getting it. We're getting our vitamin D, our dose of daily dose of vitamin D as we get the bicep pump in. Two birds with one stone. Um, Crystal, how do you feel? hot i'm sweating i like it though <laughs> it's like too much caffeine for for how hot it is my heart rate is just like heart palpitations just won't stop but good to good to be here grateful to be here um yeah All right, uh, we're gonna go to the mall later and Ooh, we're gonna take shit. you guys through what to eat at the mall for optimal post-workout recovery. Stay tuned. Oh, what's up guys, we just got done. It's 87 degrees allegedly, but it feels way hotter. That. It's probably like at least 87% humidity too. Um, Florida like that but we're gonna go home and take a shower first before we show you the most optimal post-workout mall meal in the world um, it's just brutally hot we're sweating like pigs he's sweating like a I'm pig. a pig she's a cow <laughs> what? what I don't know all right um but yeah it was a good day I think I only did like three exercises I did like Dumbbell incline, we did the lap pull down machine, and then I did uh, hammer curls and normal curls. That was it. Um, we still got a good workout in, even though we 
kind of just, uh, or I kind of just like winged the whole thing. Um, Crystal, would you do 125 for four oh, by five? Yeah, four by four by five. Yeah. I got the 140s for a set of 10, a set of 9, and a set of 8. So, technically, the same exact thing I did two days ago, but I did a third set where I got 8. So, not really a PR, but sort of, like 20, 27 reps over three sets. Average of 9 reps per set with the 140s on 45 degree incline. Um, at Seminole Strength here, um, we got Jeremy Hornstra is the gym owner. So he has a pair of 120s, 140s, 180s, and 200s. And he's like one of two people in this whole like state that can probably lift the 200s. Um, but the, my next progression is the 180s. So I got like 40 pounds. I got to do, in my eyes, I have to do the 140s for like three sets of like 15 to 20 before I even have a chance to hit the 180s for like three sets of 10 or eight or something. Um, so we have a long way to go, but I'm excited to progress that to just like keep uh, The way I kind of like to play with the dumbbells is Always kind of varying the rep range in the weight So if you like stall out with a given weight, you can just add a set or you can reduce the the total number of um, Of reps you do and add sets or you can you can play with the rep schemes so instead of always just adding like weight to the weight to the dumbbell or weight to the bar, you can manipulate your uh, your training intensity by just adjusting total volume and reps per set. And it's a much easier way to progress because you're not always forcing uh, load progression, which you're gonna stall out with very quickly if you just do that. So like for example, I'll try to progress my 140s for sets of 10 all the way up to like five sets before I, I go back to like three sets of 12 reps. So once I can do five by 10, I'll go back down to three sets, but try to get 12 reps per set. And then if I can progress that to like five sets of 12, then I'll go to 15 reps and only do three sets again. And then four sets of 15, and then five sets of 15. And then in my eyes, once I get that to that point, like five by 15, then I can make, I wish I had like 160s, but I don't. But then I can make, it's like a logical jump to jump to the 180s and start with like three sets of eight or something like that. And then again, just progress sets, reps, that way. Does that make, am I making any sense? Like, or am I just like rambling? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a, it's a more continuous progression, but you're purposely slowing down the rate of progression so that your body has time to actually adapt to the stimulus. Because the rate of the rate of adaptation is going to be outpaced by how quickly you can just increase weight on the bar. Your body's going to take longer than that to adapt, uh, especially the later and later into training you get, and the closer to your like genetic potential you get, you reach. Hello, world. So, Crystal bought all this stuff. Oh. I've been sitting in this chair for an hour minus that amount of time that you just saw. It's like 38 minutes I've been sitting in this chair. Here we go. Uh, don't you want to sit in this thing and like take advantage of my like 21 and a half more minutes? Uh, All right, we're not eating here. We're going to go make some real food. Right. We are? Yeah. We're on that. We're uh, we're going to get that summer shredding going. ASAP. Oh, this is life changing. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, guys? We're back here um, in the kitchen. So we didn't eat anything at the mall. Um, <laughs> this is what we went to Publix. We got six. Six fair lives. We got a uh, ribeye, and then you're gonna eat a uh, top sirloin from the other day. Um, but we're gonna make like steak, mashed potatoes, and then I'll probably drink like one or two of these, and uh, that'd be about it. Um, anything else? No, I think that's it. 
We're going to do this again tomorrow. Lower body. Three videos a week. Three videos a week? Three videos a week. <sighs> Let me know what you guys want to see down below. Peace out. Appreciate you. I appreciate <laughs> everyone who, who actually watches this. It's amazing. <laughs>